What's up guys? Welcome back to the Horror After Dark YouTube channel. If you weren't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications. You don't want to miss a single video in the future. But today guys, it's just me as Austin is currently asleep, but I wanted to quickly talk about Silent Hill Ascension. The new trailer dropped just like yesterday and yeah, being this is my favorite gaming franchise like ever, I wanted to sit here and break it down for you guys, talk the gameplay talk some like new mechanics coming and talk the trailer. And yeah, so breaking down everything so far that I know personally. The trailer has phenomenal story writing. Like I'm actually kind of developed into the story already from what I've seen in the trailer. Like the voiceover of the character we got just sounds like, you know, he's like fighting for himself. He's like talking about like being lost and wanting a way out and that it's like passed down to like even our kids. I'm just like already hooked into what this story is going to be. And I can't wait to like sit here when it goes live later this year, guys, and like vote alongside all of you in Silent Hill Ascension. Now, this is not going to be like a $70 game that we're going to pay for a full premium title. Instead, it's going to be a free-to-play app that we download, and it's going to be more so of a web series. Now, our, we're, it's not going to be like playable. Instead, like I said, a web series, we're going to sit here and watch it, and it's going to have some Until Dawn-like features thrown in where we, as a community, vote for the outcome of the characters and the canon. And a lot of people I've seen online are worried, like, oh, no, it's, like, going to change the canon of Silent Hill. And if the trolls, like, get a hold of it and, like, ruin it, blah, 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 it's going to be, like, ruining Silent Hill. Now, as much as I'm worried about that, after I read what I read, and if this is true, I am extremely excited for it. It's not going to change the lore of Silent Hill, like, and total it's just gonna be the canon of this game so whatever we vote on as a community will be the canon for this game's story forever it's not gonna change the lore of like silent hill 2 downpour silent hill 3 no it's just gonna be the canon of this game's story so whenever we replay it we already know what the canon is but we're gonna get a new game mode plus that we can make our own choices for in the future each character is going to have three path choices that we can take them down called Damnation, Suffering, and Redemption. Now, I'm going to guess Redemption is their way of, like, finding out, like, kind of in Mob of the Dead and Zombies, where, like, you know, you find out what you did and you redeem yourself and you're set free from Silent Hill. Whereas Damnation, you just, you never atone for your sins you never like sit here and accept what you've done personally and you just go to the deepest darkest realm of silent hill to be tortured forever where maybe suffering is you just sitting in silent hill like suffering as you try to figure out what you've done i think that may be my grasp for the three uh you know choices damnation suffering and redemption but i'm excited to meet the cast and crew and the voice actors and you know figure out what characters i'm actually going to enjoy get some of their backstory to sit here and break it down for you guys in a different video but for right now we just don't know the cast and crew we know the game is made by Genvid, bad robot and behavior interactive now Genvid is going to host the game on their own app and the app store whereas bad robot is setting here responsible for the audio and all the monster and artwork design for the game itself so far konami has dropped four new games and a new movie and i'm excited to talk about each and every one of them as i will i wanted to talk about this one first since it's our confirmed for later this year when Silent Hill 2, as of course, and it's my favorite game of all time, I haven't forgot about it. I'll talk about everything about that in a future video when we get a release date, so I'm not sitting here just talking about it, and then we just, we don't know when it's going to release. And at least with Ascension, we have a release date for later this year, and I can't wait to sit here and, like, <laughs> play it and vote alongside you guys. The monsters, uh, we got some new monsters, which is inevitable. Of course, we were going to get new monsters. The two ones that I just, the two new ones that I don't like currently is the big fat guy with an unknown name so far, where he's like swinging like the gurney and stuff in the hospital. And he just looks, it just doesn't scare me. 
Uh, alongside that, we have the Bat character at the very end of the trailer, which flies and, like, does this robotic, like, movement, like, stabbing his wings into your chest. And, once again, just does not scare me. It's not, like overly impressive but some of the other ones look extremely cool like the one with the barbed wire wrapped around his face and the trailer that appears behind the character that looks dope and yeah we can't i can't wait to sit here and see more uh currently my biggest problem with it is going to be the trolls i will agree with most of the community the trolls could really make or break this game being it's so new it's going to be a major live action interactive storytelling role play game and i feel like trolls could ruin this if they didn't like our specific things or just want to ruin the experience they'll just vote to like kill characters and like whatnot like just ruin the experience for everybody i hope konami Jin, vid bad robot and behavior have like a way to combat trolls in this instance because if not, it's so new, I feel like this could be a make or break for the game. And, you know, I just hope that or we literally have protection against trolls. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what else I can talk about uh, for this video here. Um, I really don't think there's much else that I really want to talk about here. So I'll just give my overall takes uh, for this and what I think is going, uh, how it's going to go. I do believe this could take off as a new genre of like storytelling games and I feel like this is something that could pick up if it goes well but on the other end of the knife or other end of the spectrum here I feel like this could also bomb terribly. I I, I've seen a lot of people say this doesn't really feel like a Silent Hill game. Instead, it was supposed to be a game called Ascension that Konami had to scrap, but instead just slapped the title Silent Hill over it and dropped it. I've seen that uh, come around too. I don't think that's the case. I do feel like this was made primarily for Silent Hill. But, oh my god, I just hope it goes so well that we get more games like this in the future with other like you know experiences like Halloween, Hellraiser, Friday the 13th. Even other horror games like Outlast, Dead Space, Resident Evil. Like, I can see this genre picking up for other games, not just Silent Hill. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. If you guys agree and you're hyped and ready for Silent Hill Ascension later this year, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your or friends and family. And make sure, above all else, to hit that subscribe button. Peace out.